everybody! Today, let's make some sweet dessert. It's made with sesame seeds and peanuts. It's called Ke Tangkong Gangjeong. <laughs> Can you pronounce sesame peanut candy? In my previous video, I showed you how to toast sesame seeds. So this is toasted. I toasted uh, sesame seeds. But if we are so busy that you cannot find the time to toast, this kind of toasted sesame seeds sold everywhere in a grocery store. Really pretty color. But problem is that we never know when it was toasted. So when I taste this, usually I'm not satisfied with the taste. Little crispy, but it's not nutty enough. Just use this, but all you can do is just toast one more time at home. No matter where you buy, toasted sesame seeds are clean. You can eat it right away. But raw sesame seeds, when you toast at home, the taste is much, much better. Only just it takes one or two minutes, you can taste some. Crispy and but nutty, very, very strong nutty and really, really crunchy. Today, I'm going to use this sesame seeds that I toasted in my last video. To make it more tasty and nutty, I add the same amount of peanuts. Roasted, already roasted, toasted, and unsalted. Not salty, so peanuts. If you use the peanuts, and you can call this tangkong gangjeong. Gangjeong, gangjeong is like a Korean way of cooking. All braised with some sweet syrup and sugar, honey, until very, very crispy and crunchy. So one cup toasted sesame seeds. And peanuts, one cup. So to make this more special, I use this freeze-dried strawberries freeze-dried raspberries. Cutting board. Just all spread this. And then also your rolling pin. So next, let's make a syrup. Gooey, sticky syrup. I'm using white sugar, but you can use any brown sugar, quarter teaspoon salt. And we need one teaspoon water, cold water. It's a quarter cup rice syrup. This syrup is called salia. Low it. And wait, the sugar is starts melting. So bubbles come up, and this is a really low heat because I don't want to burn. Sometimes you can lift and move around your pot like this and to melt this all the evening. You should not burn this syrup and also the melt really evenly. Kind of you have so many jobs, so you can't think about something else. This is really hot. Be careful when you make this candy. Sugar is all melted now. The so little sugar is inside. It's time to use this your wooden spoon. Keep stirring until you see the kind of a thread. Let's see. When you lift this, so like a spider web. Oh, I saw that thread. Yeah. mix. So make one lump, nice lump. Okay, let's go. Then quickly, quickly spread this hot mixture with your wooden spoon. So this is We need this, do you remember? And then use 
rolling pin like this. Although this is a, when it's a hot, you need to handle this like that. And then use your hand. It's not very hot. Smells so good, nutty smell. Ask me if I'm happy. Of course, I'm so happy. When I make this cookie, so always happy because nutty and the smell so good already. And I know that I expect what it tastes like. Oh my God. And usually I make this, I'm not eating alone. Always I share this with other people, friends. Look at that, this big. <laughs> it's yours. We made this cake dangkong gangjong today. I'm so happy. Look at this beautiful color. Mm. It's a little brittle, very really crunchy, crispy, nutty, nutty, and a little tangy because of fruit. After you prepare all Korean meal, and then, hey, I have some Korean dessert. This is ke tangkong gangjang. <laughs> and also, it's going to be a really great, great gift idea. Keep this in the airtight container or a plastic bag. Just the tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, never go soggy, never go melty. It's always crunchy. But if you make a huge batch, keep it in the freezer. And then freezer, months and months, you can eat it. But usually when you make it so delicious that just so quickly it's going to run out. Today we made Korean ke tangkong gangjeong. So enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.